Good morning. Today, I would like to talk about where we stand, and there are a few interesting things that I, as I was reflecting over the last year, I wanted to share uh, with the listeners. Uh, so, first of all, the month of Rajab uh, in the Islamic calendar is ending, which means that the next month will be Shaban, and the following month will be the holy month of Ramadan, the month of fasting. And at the same time, spring is starting so on the east coast we have seen a really nice weather and the weather continues to be nice and it's a big relief the long dark winter is ending a winter in which we lost so many people so many loved ones people of the community people of all races it was a dark deadly disastrous winter and uh, one of my colleagues once said even before the winter started that the winter that never came in the game of thrones actually appeared in the real life so last year at this time there was a lot of uncertainty so today is march 13th if you think about one year ago we were march 13 2020 and what was happening at that time? Me personally, I had just started working from home permanently. Similarly with my wife, a lot of the entire country was going into a lockdown. The stock market was crashing. The countries were banned or people were banned from traveling from one country to another. Airports were deserted. There was a big rush to get food and other supplies at the supermarkets. There was pandemonium, there was no mask available. People were confused what to do. At that point, if you remember, uh, and there are links to this series of discussions that I had with, and I had the pleasure of having with Dr. Hatim, we talked about this as a unique sign of Allah a sign that generations after generations have never seen before. Something that has happened after the flood of Prophet Nu. And why is that? Because the flood of Prophet Nu covered the entire humanity. And this pandemic that we are still witnessing, but the climax or the peak or the start of which came with this weird sense of uniformity of this pandemonium across the world where the entire world was forced into lockdown. People were confined to their houses. They could not go out. Outside there was death. And by what? No enemy. Nothing. It was just an invisible virus which was which cancelled everything. Friday prayers were closed. The holy shrines were closed. The two holy sites of Mecca and Medina were closed. The entire world came to a halt. People could not go out. People could not do anything. There were massive unemployment. People did not have money for food. That was a unique time that when we reflect back it tells us that we have just witnessed a huge sign of Allah that we could not have comprehended if someone would have told us that this could have happened this could happen in the age of internet in the age of artificial intelligence in the age of high flying rockets and going to mars and like satellites computers cell phones social media all of these things but this happened but one important thing that we discussed at that time was the lockdown interfered with our life. It pushed us in our homes. A lot of people were agitated. But we were lucky to be in the home. We were lucky that we were able to provide food for the family or Russian food. We were lucky that we were safe. 
But think about what was happening before this lockdown in certain parts of the world. For example, Kashmir or Yemen. People in those countries were under lockdown by either the occupied forces of India in Kashmir or due to lack of fuel and the and the fear of being bombarded by another country in case of Yemen it was Saudi Arabia but the world did not do anything when they were in lockdown we were quiet we did not say anything we thought it was okay but then we saw what it feels like to be in lockdown the entire world went into lockdown one thing that really happened after the lockdown people started waking up people started seeing what is right versus what is wrong to a local extent and one of the biggest things that happened was people got the freedom that energy the will to remove a lying tyrant who was responsible for a lot of atrocities around the world for on his own people and to a lot of people around in the human kind now that the lockdowns are being lifted now that vaccine is being distributed now that summer and spring is coming back now that life might be coming back to some sort of normal normal lency one thing that we cannot forget is that these countries like kashmir yemen palestine they're still under lockdown few days ago two days ago there was a report on cnn about how people and children are dying in yemen and children do not have food there is a situation of famine and it's not only because there is no food world food organization is providing food but the saudi government has blocked any sort of fuel to reach the port of yemen as a result a lot of food is just sitting at the port it cannot move because of lack of fuel parents cannot take their children to the hospital because of lack of fuel a lot of hospitals might end up closing down in a few weeks we have seen what lockdown feels like especially if you do not have any supplies we have seen what it can do how does it feel to see a loved one die in front of you a baby a child who you loved so much but you cannot provide food for that baby or you cannot take them to the doctor because either if you go by foot you might get bombarded if you go by car you don't have any fuel and even if you go there the hospital might not be there think about that situation think about the helplessness of the parents who are in this situation so think and do some action alhamdulillah the government has changed the tide has turned the biden administration has elevated the status of yemen war and we need to make sure that we have our voices heard in this regard we need to make sure that we convey a message to our local representatives to the house to the senate so that they have our voice they've already done a lot in the past in the past 4 years they've taken many measures which were later vetoed by the president but they did the democrats took many initiatives against the war in yemen 
We need to empower them again. We need to convey our concerns about this war again so that they can take it again to the next level. The time is of the essence. We need to make an effort right now. And then the second thing I would like to highlight, we will discuss it further, is the introduction of the month of Shaban. It's Rajab, the month of Rajab and Shaban are the months of Alabad alayhi salam. And there are many aspects of the life of Alabad alayhi salam that one can focus on. One aspect that has been discussed quite a lot this year is about Hazrat Fatma Zara sallallahu Especially related to the movie Lady of Heaven. I'll be talking about that aspect over the next few days. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.